Five, four, three, two. Good morning, Talawanda. Today is Friday, March 29th, 2019. The FCCLA chapter is collecting items to donate to the Animal Humane Society Shelter in Hamilton. Any and all donations are appreciated. There will be no chess club today. Students that will be attending Butler Tech next year, if you are interested in a scholarship, please see Mr. Phelps or your school counselor for more details. Attention, artists, writers, photographers, poets. Do you have an original work? Submit your work to Setting Stone. Setting Stone is accepting submissions through this week to be included in its spring publication. Send your work to settingstone at talawanda.org or drop it off to Ms. Mr. Arney in 320 by this Friday. The Talawanda Drama Department is selling tickets for their spring musical of Freaky Friday. The shows are April 4th and 5th at 7 p.m. and April 6th at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. all in the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $7 presale and $8 at the door. Tickets can be purchased from a cast or crew member throughout the day and during all lunches. If you would like to know more, please see a cast or crew member or contact Ms. Hudson or Mr. Stephan. Do you want to donate blood? But was worried about missing class, now is your chance to make a difference. If you are not taking one of the EOCs on Friday, April 12th, you can sign up to donate during that testing period, 8 a.m. to 9.30 p a.m. If you are taking the EOC, you still can donate in a time slot after your test. We have spots open, and remember that you can donate three times during your high school years. You will receive red cords for graduation. Do you think you've got talent? Do you want to show us what you've got? Well, head on down to the main office or room 611 to grab a registration form for the 2019 FCCLA Talent Show. There will be a mandatory practice on April 16th right after school in the PAC. The Talent Show will be held on April 18th, 1st through 4th period, and Mel Edwards will be the MC. Tickets will be on sale during all lunches starting on April 10th through April 16th for $5. You will not be able to purchase a ticket on the day of the Talent Show. There will also be an evening talent show this year for parents on April 17th at 6.30 in the pack. Tickets will be sold at the door for $5 or $3 when you bring at least two personal hygiene items to donate. If you have any questions, ask Hannah Cress, Elizabeth Eberwine, or Ms. Mrs. Gregory. Or now, and now for LAX interviews. All right, so I'm here with two uh, Taiwan lacrosse players. So, boys, how's the season gone so far? Uh, it's pretty good. We're starting off one and one. It's not quite the start we wanted, but we're getting there. And Trent, what position do you play on the lacrosse field? Base D. Just sit there and beat the crap out of people with the big old stick. All right, that sounds fun. So, uh, are you guys excited for the season? Yeah, uh, I think it's going to be one of the best Taiwan seasons yet. Uh, we've improved every year. We've had more wins than the year before, so hopefully we can do that again. All right, thanks, boys. Birthdays for today. Jazz Bennett, Arthur DeBoer, Samuel Abowitz, and, Ch and James Staley turn 18. Josephine Keith turned 17. And now for What's the Tea and Patty G. Sports are starting, so come watch the varsity baseball team play at Joyce Park at 5 on Saturday. Out of the Big Ten, headed to the Elite Eight. 
Mr. Meese requested the entire school see the ending of the Purdue-Tennessee game last night with his Boilermakers moving on to the Elite Eight for the first time since 2000. A huge win over the Vols last night in Louisville, and Purdue is a Final Four team in my bracket as well, so I'm happy too. Virginia and Gonzaga also picked up wins in last night's games, and the Michigan Wolverines fell to Texas Tech, so luckily they are done. Four games on the March Madness schedule tonight. And my pick for tonight's upset is the three-seed Houston over the two-seed Kentucky. That game beginning tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time. The varsity baseball team defeated Bishop Fenwick last night by a score of 7-6. It came down to the last pitch with a full count, bases loaded, and two outs when Brecken Hornsby made the play to get the Brave a W. Dylan Betts gets the win on the hill, and Tyler Prater earned a save. The baseball team will play again tonight at 5 o'clock against Lebanon at Lebanon High School. The softball team lost to Franklin County last night at home by a score of 13-3. to They fall to 1-1 one one on the season and will play a doubleheader tomorrow at Finneytown with Game 1 at 11 a.m. And the men's tennis team beat Fenwick last night on the road by a 4-1 margin. They improved to 2-2 two two on the year. Home games for this weekend. The men's tennis team takes on Walnut Hills this afternoon at 4. And the JV baseball teams take on Lebanon at 5. Now Saturday, the JV softball takes on Franklin and a doubleheader starting at 11. And the JV baseball team takes on Loveland at noon. And that's a broadcast here on this Friday. I'm Patrick Eschen. Thanks so much for watching and have a great weekend.